should come with me. See something more than Golia. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need. But it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Albs who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix withdrawal? I met an Alb separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain, all that confusion, what happened to him? Where is he? He died. It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Don't go trying to steal stuff. I've had enough of that shit. What can be done that the war... Ah, Incomer. It would be good to talk later and hear your news. We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. What are you doing here? Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. And if I did know something about them? That would be good for both of us. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The Berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you, Dad. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I can point you to where answers can be found.
complexion isn't worth the risk. Then superstition wins over reason. A loss for us all. Go, hand them in. A shame. I thought you would be clearer thinking than the others here. Is there anything else you don't like about Berserkers? Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair, they help those around them, and there's the wonder that is Berserker magic. And if you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here, all of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws. People of Tavar might as well be mutants, the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them, is it? It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the berserkers? Run off to the outlaw way of life? Or follow an interest in technology to the clerics? I want to become a berserker. Good for you. Magic and superstition and save the planet, all very noble. I wish you well. But should the magic wear off someday, there may be others who would welcome you. So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick. And whatever you want to buy, you'll need to find the shards to pay. I could offer you some food as a gift. But... Well, since you disagreed with me about the cleric's weapons, I'd expect you'd refuse an offer of food, too. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. Well, it's safer here, behind these walls, than out there with the mutants. Particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. I was traveling in Edam with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliad. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that Golden Age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet, that it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. 
you will have a place to stay, a chance to become one of us, and they will likely reward you for your trouble. We Berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us, but I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors, troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Ison clan, but I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. Eldor, I've heard you're causing trouble with the Ising Clan. What about it? Do you have a problem with the Eisen clan? It's not me with the problem. It's that self-important pinchdick Oren who has the problem. He won't serve me or anyone else from the Hammer clan. You want to do a 10-day stretch of guard duty and then find out you can't even get a beer at the end of it? Why won't Oren serve you? You'd have to commune with the Pilgrim to answer that one, because I don't know. One minute Oren will serve us, the next minute he won't even let us in the tavern. What's all this got to do with you? Cormag doesn't want conflict between the clans. Well, someone needs to speak to Oren then. It's that self-important sack of ass grapes that has the problem, not me. You get him to change his mind and let the Hammer Clan back in the tavern. That will sort everything out. from the field. Felix, you hear your own for looking for volunteers to go to the mouth of 
Good luck to him. <laughs> I don't know anyone who's going to risk that journey in a hurry. The Hammer Clan sent me. Ah, that's a shame. Bar's just closed. Then open it. You're going to serve the Hammer Clan from now on. Am I? Strange. Here was me thinking I decided who gets served. And I don't have any reasons why I should change my mind. Serve them, or I'll kill you. Straight to the threats, eh? You think a tavern keeper doesn't get talk like that every day? All right, hard man. Let's see you outside, in front of the tavern. You say so. The people up there will take care of it. You might be right there. So, you want me to start serving the Hammer Clan again, do you? Then draw your weapon, and show me how seriously you want it. Is that bad secret is great. than you look, aren't you? So, are you going to serve the Hammer Clan again? Yeah, yeah. They'll get served. I'll speak to Angram, all right? What does Angram have to do with it? He told me not to serve the Hammer Clan. I think he was hoping some of them would, you know, shift over to the Ison Clan. I think Cormac should know about that. I think that's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a tavern keeper. to go out there and kill every last raptor. Told you why he was making trouble? Orin has barred the Hammer Clan from the tavern. And the only thing that stops men complaining faster than an empty stomach is an empty flagon. You seem to have a gift for getting people to talk. I want you to use that gift and find a way to persuade Orin to lift his back. I will see what Angram knows about this. If the Ison Clan are allowed into that tavern, then the Hammer Clan must be too. The trouble between Elder and the Eisen Clan is over. So, Elder can drown his sorrows instead of shouting them around Goliath. How did you manage that? After a little chat, Orn agreed it was best for the clans to work together. A little chat, eh? Well, however you managed it, it's a relief. I was worried this would build into something bigger. Well, I should have had more faith. It seems people do believe in our cause. Angram was behind the trouble. 
He hoped that since the Hammer Clan wasn't being served, that he could lure people to join the Eisen Clan. You're sure of this? Orin told me himself. Then it seems I must speak with Ragnar, and we'll find a way to persuade Angram out of such tactics. We have enough trouble with the elves without fighting amongst ourselves. Thank you for your service. Take this for payment, and keep this matter between us. has lifted the ban on the Hammer Clan. Well, aren't you the smooth-skinned charmer? How did you get him to lift that? Well, I'm very persuasive. I'll bet. But however you did it, I'm thankful. Here, take this. A small token of thanks from the Hammer Clan. Mm -hmm. 